And then we're gonna go do this black cat mission. Is coming. Which shoot? Uh, which suit should I wear? What's this? Oh boy! <laughs> I think we should use that. And um, Through. we'll do that. This is stable control. What's our status at our position in Ansonia? <laughs> Checkpoint under attack by demons. Uh-huh. Attention all units. Don't really know. Robbery of an armored car. Incident is active near Insonia. How to get under here? There's gotta be like an underground part or something. get under under the rocks I don't even know if I have to oh what's this oh here we go <laughs> freedom tunnel before feast started this was a haven for New York's homeless mostly abandoned now good hiding spot must be a hidden entrance or something Well, there's an invisible wall here. Bingo. Oh. Okay. This looks like everything she stole. Financial data on the Magia crime families. Is she trying to blackmail them? I guess so. Aw, oh, look. Cat's dancing with the little spider. Also imprisoning him in a jar against his will. Cute. Very cute. Huh? <laughs> I don't know much about the black cat in uh, the Spider-Man universe. Wow. First time I caught Felicia, she was trying to steal this. Looks like she finally went back to finish the job. What's this? Wine from a Magia vineyard. Fisk reported this stolen a few years back. All right. Um. Spider, you raced here to redeem me, didn't you? You're adorable and cute too, which is why I made you something more flattering. If you've got Ooh. it, flaunt it. Oh. Dark suit. This couldn't all have just been a game, could it? Huh. Spider-Man, the black cat just robbed the police department's evidence lockup. What? How? That place is like Fort Knox. All those cats you found? When they were all together in the evidence room, they linked up, boosted their signal, and deactivated the alarms. No one even saw her sneak in. She knew I'd find the cats and report them to you. She played me, again. 
What'd she take? Just her old costume and gear. She let me find 50 million worth of loot just so she could get her stuff back. Which means she's got something even bigger planned. Wow. Gotta give her credit. She played you good. Are you smiling? You sound like you're smiling. You gotta go. <laughs> All right. Let's see what the suit does. Ah, so this is one of those hidden suits. Although there's no power associated with it. Well, that kind of sucks. But it does look cool. I will say that. I do like the way this looks. It's very... Cool. I always liked black and red color scheme. But I guess that's it for the black cat missions. So... Yeah, not too bad. So we've got all the hideouts done. We got all the warehouses finished. We got... We've collected all the backpacks and the landmarks and the black cat stuff. So we're making pretty good progress on the side mission side of things. But uh, in the main mission, we're kind of lacking on... All right, let's, let's do one main mission. I'm getting emails from the rapidly shrinking yet still stubbornly obtuse contingent of Spider-Man fanboys and fangirls blithely insisting he did a wonderful thing, shutting down a drug lab run by a delightful fellow whose street name seems to be, wait for it, Tombstone. Now, I'm glad he's behind bars, but do you know how Spider-Man shut this operation down? By setting it on fire. Do you know what drug labs do when you set them on fire? They explode! Spider-Man could have taken out the entire block with his criminally reckless grandstanding. Fortunately, New York's bravest, our firefighters, contained the blaze because that's their job. And if Spider-Man had any sense, he'd have turned over whatever information he had on Tombstone to the police and let New York's finest do their job! But no, he thought the best way to handle drug dealing is with our son! I didn't intentionally set that fire. I don't even know how it started, I think. It was just a bunch of motorcycles in there. That were, uh... Bunch of motorcycles that kind of blew up. Maybe because I threw it at them or at Tombstone. Okay, that's how I can get into Norman's office. Can't get in there without shutting down some security systems. But if they see me, they'll put the whole place on lockdown. should be able to hack into the security network modules from the outside. There are the network cables. Just need to follow them to the security module. There we go, a security module. Looks like there's four of these around the building. That should make things easier. What the hell? Security teams, call in. Sable Team Alpha standing by. Looks like an electrical problem. Copy that. Keep an eye on the exterior while we try to track down the issue. Just when I thought it would be easy. Uh, great. Now I gotta avoid these lasers. They're sights, I guess. Oh, okay. I would try to, you know, sprint All along the Looks like we have some sort building, of but problem. we're calling in a specialist. Copy that. Continuing exterior sweep. But I don't want to mess up my movement. If I try to go too fast, I'm gonna mess something up. There's the second module. Agents. Someone's taking control of one of our 
subsystems. Oh, great. Delta protocol. Man, everybody's got drones these days. They have drones. I need a status report. Exterior sweep negative. We are all clear. Still look like a software issue? We don't know. We're evaluating. Please maintain current alert level. Okay, just two more modules. Attention all Sable teams. There's a small <laughs> possibility we have a trespasser on site. We're analyzing data now. Stay vigilant. Copy that, Control. Focusing really hard on just trying to avoid everything. Is that gonna go right over the box? Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, shit! There it is. Damn it. Another subsystem is going offline. Mm hmm. I need a team to scan the 85th floor exterior. Copy. Now they got a helicopter. Come on, man. Gotta move. Hi, MJ. A little busy right now. I'll be quick. Listen, I got a lead on Charles Standish's location. I think if I can get to him, I can make him talk. He knew about Dr. Delaney. He probably knows about Morgan Michaels as well. Okay, just don't do anything crazy. Speaking of crazy, gotta find that last module. Oh boy. Oh shit. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race. There's the last one. Nice. Now I can get into Norman's office and hopefully find out more about Morgan Michaels and Devil's Breath. Exterior sweep negative. Should we go on lockdown? Not yet. Mr. Osborne is in the middle of an important call. I keep tracking. There must be someone out there. Nope. Nobody here but us spiders. Okay. That was, uh, kind of scary. Switching to a secure line. I'm way ahead of you, Wilson. I had my people go through all your files. If you try to expose our business arrangement, it'll be your word against mine. And I'm not the one behind bars right now. Wait. Is Norman talking to Wilson Fisk? Neo Statue. What are you talking about? The Neo statue from the auction house. They must be talking about that file MJ found. Who has the file? We do, Norman. But it doesn't tell us enough. Which is why I'm doing some slightly illegal but morally acceptable B&E right now. Jackpot. GR27. Hmm. Dr. Morgan Michaels is the chief scientist, but the location of the lab is redacted. AI-controlled CRISPR? If that actually works, it could cure any genetic disease. Cystic fibrosis? Huntington's? This is crazy. Viral delivery mechanism incorrectly targets immune system. Infected subjects highly contagious. Seven days later, all 40 subjects deceased. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's bad. Ugh. Whoa. GR27 is devil's breath. It's designed to cure diseases. But in its current form, it's like a bioweapon. Hmm. Okay. Dr. Michaels keeps the only sample with him at all times. That's why Lee wants him. We find Michaels. We find devil's breath. All right. Well, we learned quite a bit from that. Hey, Pete. What's up? MJ, get this. Oh, no. Devil's Breath wasn't designed to be a weapon. It's a treatment for genetic disorders. But its current form is wildly imperfect. They're trying to fix the body. It rips it apart. 
We need to locate Dr. Michaels. I don't trust Sable to contain something this deadly. I may have a lead on that. Charles Standish is being held at Sable's Central Park compound. If anyone knows Michael's location, it'll be Oscorp CFO. I'm trying to reach him now. Reach him? That place is crawling with guards. How are you trying to reach him? Very, very quietly. Gotta go, partner. Sneaking into a Sable compound? That could go bad fast. I should head to Central Park. Oh, man. It's always a bad sign when you hear MJ whispering because, well, that means we're going to have to do some. That means we're going to have to do some uh, sneaking around huh. as MJ. Like checked in. Peter, That's not very I've fun. It's all about the mind. Take me, for example. A mind of unlimited potential shackled to a tired old body. Think of what that mind could achieve if it were freed. In developing our neural interface, we need to think beyond replicating the tired putterings of our physical forms. Instead, reach into imagination and possibility. Reach into the mind. I've never heard Doc this excited by a project. Hope he's not too excited. Yeah. Let's see what we can unlock here. Can't do that. We can't do that. Could do this. Now let's, let's start unlocking this stuff. Alright, and then we'll take care of this. Oh my god, barely dodged that. If you told 12 year old me one day dudes in masks would try to blow them up with rockets, well, actually, you'd probably get pretty excited. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this session. Um, we got a lot done on the side missions. But we didn't do a whole lot of main missions, which it kind of sucks, but it's also not that big of a deal because I do want to get as many side missions done as I can. And now we don't have to worry about collecting backpacks or landmarks or the black cat stuff. We don't have to worry about the uh, hideouts and warehouses and stuff. Now we pretty much only have do the research stations which there's only one left well let's get rid of that as well 1072 mugging reported need an officer on the scene we'll do one more officers report to the theater district one more thing and then i'm going to take a break yeah i didn't get to do as many main missions as i wanted to do but We've made a lot of progress on the side missions, which is just as good. Because then we won't be as distracted and we can focus on the main story.
Alright. Lightning Rod. Accurate storm tracking has been one of the brass rings of meteorology for a long time. The big problem is the size of the data set. Weather phenomena require an enormous amount of processing power to accurately monitor. A, distri a distributed... Oh my god. A distributed network is basically the only way to do it. This station analyzes thunderstorms and acts as a failsafe for the others. Now they're all susceptible to lightning strikes, which would erase their data banks. If they're in danger, they'll automatically transfer their data to Oscorp's servers. Just make sure it works, okay, pal? There's a storm threatening now, and the automatic transfer isn't working. No time to write code now. I'll have to manually link the research station data hubs. Then I need to go to the top of the Oscorp building and align their receivers. So is this going to be like... Right over... Okay. My lenses should yeah, show the other hubs thing. in red. Oh, there we go. Got it. Now to make more links in the chain. Man, it's getting bad out here. Got it. Uh-oh. The receiver's energy is giving me a positive charge, which means I'm at a high risk of lightning strikes. My charge is increasing. I gotta move faster or I'll get zapped. When your suit spark starts to spark, leave the area quickly to avoid getting hit. Okay. That's scary. I'm not really, not really liking this. I don't want to get struck by lightning. One more down. It's not to celebrate. My costume's insulation can protect me a little. But I can't afford many hits. What? How did that not get on there? What? Bullshit. You're so awesome. Except when it tries to kill me. That one's set. Oh, come on. Really? The thing's pointed right at it. Scientifically, I know why this is happening. But it's hard not to feel like the universe is against me right now.
like the whole city's one giant bug zapper. How many of these do I need? So it looks like a green circle appears on the minimap to tell you where the lightning's gonna hit. Time to admire the view. I'll be extra crispy. Oh my god, there's so many. I mean, I haven't even been keeping count, but there's a hell of a lot of satellites. Get to Oscorp Tower. Finally done. Jeez. God damn it. I didn't realize there was a building that close. Oh shit. Gotta aim these away from their satellites and toward each other. Really, I just got up here. That did it! And the spider spins a data web. All the research data is going to Oscorp servers. Harry's work is safe. And I can finally get out of this weather. Here we go. Hey Pete, in the mood for some good news? Sure, I've already got plenty of the other kind. I just posted a new article. Oscorp announced Harry's research stations are providing valuable data, so they're fully funding them. You're kidding, that's great. I just wish we could tell Harry. Pete hasn't returned my calls, which is weird. I know how important this is to him. His mom would be so proud. He really stepped up for her. You helped a little yourself, Tiger. You're a good friend. So are you, MJ. And wherever Harry is, he knows that. Can't wait to read the article. Well, there's a challenge down there. But, uh... 
Like I said, I'm gonna take a break here. Um, we finally got all our all of the research stuff done, or all the research uh, stations. All the research stations are done. We finished up all the the enemy bases and backpacks, landmarks, black cat. We got a lot of stuff done today. We even got a couple of main missions done, but uh, now that we've uh, gotten rid of most of the side stuff, or a good chunk of the side stuff, we can kind of focus on the main story a little bit more, hopefully. Um, yeah, now we have the challenges to do, which uh, kind of sucks. But, but you know, at least, at least the amount of side stuff that's on the map is been pretty, pretty much reduced to uh, a manageable amount. Um, so hopefully we won't be too distracted going through the rest of the story. But there's obviously going to be bunch of side stuff that I want to do. Um, so, yeah, that's that's going to be it. Um, when we come back next time, we'll go ahead and check out this main mission. And then we'll probably do some other the side missions. Uh, but yeah, hopefully next time I can just focus on the main story a bit more than I did today because we didn't really get a whole lot done in the story but we did learn a lot um we learned about the uh the one doctor and uh we saw we saw um we actually got to see mr negative which you know it was it was kind of weird because I had cut, I had uh, went to this menu earlier, and I was scrolling through, and I saw this guy. I'm like, "Who's this?" And it's like, "Oh, that's Martin Lee," but but uh, I don't know what you call that. <laughs> Inverted colors? I I'm not sure. It's basically Martin Lee and. Then they had a big reveal of Martin Lee changing into Mr. Negative, and uh, that wasn't as much of a surprise because I accidentally spoiled it for myself because they had it in the game. <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's a lot of things in this game where things kind of get spoiled very easily, especially in uh, especially in the trailers, I guess. There was some really spoilery stuff. As well as the gameplay they've been showing off. Or they had showed off at like E3 and stuff. There was some... There were some spoilers in there. And... That's not the best... thing because, you know, spoilers suck. But... It's also not really a big deal because... Well, Spider-Man is a pretty well-known comic and... I'm pretty sure most of this stuff comes from the comics, so it's kind of hard not to, uh, it's kind of hard not to be spoiled. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot of things you can predict in this game because if you have any knowledge of Spider-Man stuff, then you pretty much know what's going to happen in the game. But uh, anyway, we got to see Mr. Negative, and then, and then we learned what Devil's Breath is. It's an ac it's actually a bio weapon that c that's supposed to help people. Uh, it's supposed to help cure genetic diseases, but it doesn't work that way. So uh, yeah, we'll see where the story goes from there. Um. But for now, I'm going to take a break, and when we come back next time, we'll go ahead and do the main mission, 
probably do a couple side missions, but hopefully I'll be able to focus on the main stuff for a little bit. So that's going to be it. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I will talk to you all later.